heavy whipping cream. Because we can. Can't have chocolate pie without some whipped cream. Now you can. <laughs> my 16 year old was down here in the middle of the night making cakes and he almost got the last of my uh, powdered sugar, but not quite. Let's see. Oh, don't set your cord on fire. You want nice cold cream? And once you kind of give it like, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, we're going to give it some, not tons, I'd say a quarter cup of powdered sugar. You can use regular sugar if you want to. Powdered sugar just dissolves better. I actually used regular sugar most of my life. You know, it's funny when I was living out in Seattle. What's that? This is vanilla extract. Oh. Okay. I make it myself. Oh, you did? Yeah, you take, oh, it's so easy. You take, um, if you're gonna do vanilla extract, take real high quality vanilla beans and you can soak them in vodka. And that's how you get vanilla extract. I actually have a video on it if you wanna. The flavor is unbelievable. And then after you've made your extract, now I didn't mean to sneak off camera this time, I'm just showing you how to do something. Once you've made your vanilla and you've used your beans, Rinse them off and throw them in your sugar. And you know that vanilla sugar you have to pay a million dollars for at the specialty shops? You've got it for free. Wow. You want to do it with my vanilla sugar? They said it was uh, pretty much all alcohol, so the vodka extracts yeah. the... Yeah, and I paid, last batch of good vanilla beans I bought, I think I paid $21. I got about 40 beans, okay? And um, that was including the shipping. I ordered them. Now, if you buy them in a grocery store, you might get three beans for 10 bucks. So it's worth, you know, planning ahead and getting it. And I think I've made four batches of real vanilla. This size batch, not this size bottle. So, you know, mm -hmm. I'm pretty lavish with real vanilla extract at my house. Because it's so inexpensive when you do it that way. Of course, if you want to, I have to yell at the top of my beater. If you want to, you can take a bottle of vodka and split the um, vanilla bean down the middle and then run the back of the knife all down the length of it. You get all those little tiny vanilla seeds. <laughs> Throw that in your bottle of vodka. Give it a couple days and then you've got vanilla vodka, which is not a bad thing either. And then you can take that bean out and put it in your sugar. <laughs> I keep mine because, you know, little kids, I get hiccups all the time. The little kids get hiccups. You give them a teaspoon of sugar, and it'll cure their hiccups. So now they always try to fake that they have hiccups, and they'll come in and I have hiccups. So I make them keep doing it until I, I believe it. All right. We had nice cold cream. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just holding this at an angle and splashing it all over my, myself. You want to use those beaters to get air down into the cream. And that's what we're doing. And I'd use my stand mixer, but it's dirty and then I'd have to wash dishes. But you do want to use a whip, a whisk or a whip attachment. All right. Now, one of the things you have to worry about when you're making whipped cream is knowing when to stop. The only thing that is in this whipped cream is cream and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of homemade vanilla extract. There are no stabilizers. Meaning, don't make it too far in advance because it may melt on you. It'll still taste awesome, but it won't look pretty. And if you go too far, you're going to have butter. Can you see it? See? Now, you see how the beaters are starting to leave tracks? See that? That means you're getting close. Oh, I was going to tell a story. I was living in Seattle, and there's a little girl that lived next to me. Her name was Heather. That little girl now has a baby girl of her own. But uh, she was living next to me. She was at the house one day. And uh, my own kids were little bitty. All right, let's see how we're doing. Oh, see, that's perfect. Did you see how it holds its shape? Yeah. It's almost like you're making a meringue. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Anyway, she was nice to me. <laughs> Did you see me? I can't believe you just missed that, Daryl. Did you miss it? No, it's on here. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't turn the beaters on when they're covered with cream. Unless they're in the bowl. Oh. <laughs> anyway, she was over and I started making whipped cream. And she what's that? And I said, whipped cream. And she goes, but it comes in a can. And I said, no, it really doesn't have to come in a can. Let me show you how to make it. So I showed her how to make it. And she took a spoon and, and took a taste. And her eyes got that big. And I went down the hall to tend to the baby. And I came back. And there was maybe half a teaspoon of whipped cream left in the bottom of the bowl. Oh, wow. And she had run away. She, uh. Loved it. And I mean, I've got to say, real whipped cream is like nothing on the planet. 